Chatsworth, an early morning street race turned deadly as an out-of-control car slammed into three spectators, killing two of them. Tonight, investigators are still trying to track down the suspect. Eyewitness News reporter Melissa McBride joins us live at the scene where a small memorial has been set up. Melissa. And Mark, people who knew the victims came here to the scene late tonight. They lit some candles in their memory. Meantime, police are looking for the driver of the Mustang and the driver of the Nissan GTR. He was racing. This exclusive video shows a Ford Mustang racing another car down Plummer Street. Seconds later, the Mustang loses control, hits a curb, and goes up on the sidewalk, killing two spectators and injuring another. Police say 21-year-old Henry Govorgian was driving the Mustang and fled the scene. It's just a matter of time before we get you. We have your vehicle. We have your picture. The community knows who you are. Please come to the Los Angeles Police Department Valley Traffic Division or go simply to any Los Angeles Police Department uh, station and turn yourself in. Police are also looking for the other vehicle involved, but have not released details. Police say the Mustang had been modified in order to race, and the marks on the pavement indicate Govorgian accelerated quickly. Investigators believe he lost control while shifting gears. This man, who did not want to be identified, says he saw the deadly race. 55, 65 in the beginning, when he lost control, there was going pass. When the start of the race, he lost control. The speed has not yet been determined. Police say about 60 people were there to watch the early morning illegal street race. Most of them took off when the deadly accident happened, but some witnesses stayed to help. We have information that there were people there who stayed uh, to help the uh, injured uh, parties, and they, some of them may have called 911. Police say 26-year-old Eric Seguenza of Los Angeles was one of the two spectators killed in the accident. The name of the other person has not yet been released. Police say that family members are still trying to notify other family members before that name is released. And again, one other person was seriously injured and remains hospitalized. Reporting live in Chatsworth, I'm Melissa McBride, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Melissa.